the day after Christmas, the year 2020. Hi everybody, it's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude walk on the day after Christmas, December 26, 2020, a Saturday. I'm with my two favorite people in the world, my sons Kyle and my son Connor. Say hi guys. Hello. Yes, being Hello. very responsible with their masks. So. The day after Christmas, it's important to get those steps in today. We're going to get about 15,000, 16,000 in, especially after a big Christmas meal, burn off some of those uh, calories that we ingested yesterday. So, but we always paired up with gratitude. So, Kyle, what any subject in particular you're grateful for today? Well, today I'm, I'm definitely grateful for being able to uh, spend time both in person and remotely with loved ones. That's huge for me, you know, support system throughout the years and don't want to have to lose touch with people just because there's craziness going on. Yeah, good point, good point. Kyle, by the way, he's got in the new Seattle Kraken NHL hockey sweatshirt on today. And Con, all the way up for a special guest appearance from San Diego. What would you like to pair it up with today for, for gratitude, Con? I'd like to embrace it with some nature. Uh, as we're kind of walking through the woods right now, we actually see, see some uh, very rare sun peeking through. So I think yeah. we're, uh, both my brother and my dad, very grateful for them to see the sun. I know it's pretty rare up here. so. Very grateful to have them and on the swap right now. Sounds great. Yep, for the land of the sun, San Diego, con up here and brought some of that with them right now as it just happens to shine exactly at that moment. So that's the message for today. Get those steps in today and make sure you're focused on something to be grateful for on this day after Christmas. That's the message. Remember, be grateful and never quit.